What's good guys, welcome to another episode of Quick Tip Tuesdays. This episode today is gonna to be sponsored by Squarespace. Make sure you guys head over to squarespace.com forward slash watch the image for 10% off your first purchase. The link will be down in the description. Now today in this episode, I wanna show you guys how you can create a really quick glitch transition within Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. Also, I wanna show you guys how you can save this transition as a preset so you won't have to recreate this every single time you wanna use it in the future. Let's dive over into Adobe Premiere Pro and get this thing rolling. So here we are in Premiere. I have a series of clips already within this timeline that we're gonna be using these transitions on. And the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is create an adjustment layer to house these transitions on. So if we navigate over to our media bin, we're gonna click the new item icon and go to adjustment layer, press okay, these settings are fine. Drag this and let's just drop this into the timeline. So me, I wanna make this transition about 10 frames. I like five frames on, five frames off. So the first thing that we're gonna to need to do is navigate to roughly around where two of these clips meet and drop in a marker. This is gonna help us be able to transfer the transition over onto the other clips in the sequence if we wanna do this in the future. So let's just add in a marker roughly around the middle of these two clips. And we're gonna navigate over five frames to the left and five frames over to the right to cut off the access adjustment layer because we want this to be around 10 frames. So if we hold on the shift key, Press right on the arrow key, it's gonna take us over to the right five frames. Let's get out our blade tool and cut off the access adjustment layer. Hold shift, press left arrow twice. It's gonna take us over five frames to the left and we're gonna cut off the access on the left side. And now we have an adjustment layer that's gonna house the transition that we're about to create. Next thing we're gonna to need to do is navigate over to our effects panel and we're gonna search VR digital. My bad, VR digital. Yep, VR digital glitch. Drop this onto our adjustment layer. And as you guys can see, this is already giving us a really dope effect. We just have to animate this with keyframes. So let's navigate over to where we place this marker. Right in the middle, I'm gonna zoom in to make sure uh, I'm in the right place. As you guys can see, I roughly messed this up. It doesn't matter if you're exact, just try to get it as right as possible. So I'm just gonna drag this over because I've created that marker right there. Drag that into the middle. And it's a couple things that we're gonna add in keyframe markers for. So first of which is, let's just drop down this distortion and also noise. We're gonna add in a keyframe, just do this by clicking on the, 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 the freaking time watch, the time watch icon, man. Uh, on color distortion, we're gonna do this on distortion rate and we're also gonna do this on noise strength. Right in the middle, make sure it's in the middle. Let's navigate over into the beginning of our adjustment layer. Right at that beginning point, we're gonna add in keyframes for these exact same things that we just added them in. So let's just click on these little dials right here to add in keyframes. And let's navigate over into the end of our adjustment layer and add in keyframes for those exact same things one more time. Now the good thing about this is now we can use these arrows to navigate through the keyframes that we've already added. So let's just press this left one to get us to that middle one. This is where we're going to want to see how the transition will look in the middle of it, the height of it, the climax of it, where those two clips meet. So we're gonna start by adjusting our color distortion. This is going to show us how much this RGB split looks. Now, if we go to 100, you guys can see it comes all the way out. And if we go all the way down to zero, you guys can see it doesn't go out. So use the discretion, how much RGB split you want. I'm gonna go big, I'm gonna do mine at 100. Next thing I'm gonna do is up our distortion rate. Uh, this is going to adjust how much of this distortion we're gonna be seeing. Now, if you go too far, you guys can see that it's gonna take away all of the RGB. So for me, I'm just gonna go around 50. 50, you know, we still got the RGB, but we also got the distortion within it. And for noise, I'm just gonna go around 20. If you want a lot of noise, you can go all the way up. You guys can see that, but I'm just gonna go around 20. I don't really want too much noise in mine. And let's press left on the arrow key to take us to that beginning keyframe that we added at the beginning of the adjustment layer. And we're gonna drop all these values to zero. So I'm gonna drop mine all the way down to zero for my color distortion, distortion rate, and uh, noise strength and press the right arrow key on our keyframes twice to go to that end one. And we're gonna drop those values all the way down again. And if we play through this, you can see we have our glitch effect in, but I wanna add in a flash just to kind of mask that transition between those two clips a little bit more. So if we navigate over to our effects panel, let's just search up levels and drop this onto our adjustment layer. Now we still can navigate to where we want these keyframes to be with these arrows and our other keyframes that we added. So for me, I'm gonna navigate over to the middle Keyframe right in the middle, you guys can see right here on this arrow, uh, the marker that we added. Navigate down to our levels, and we're gonna add in keyframes for this as well, because we wanna animate this. So the only thing that we're gonna add in keyframes for is the white input level. 
do that, press left on our arrows for our keyframes, add in another keyframe for the white input level, and press it twice to go to the end of our adjustment layer, add in a keyframe there as well. And I'm gonna press the left arrow to take us to that middle one. And we're just gonna drop down our white input level. This is gonna be however much you want it. I don't go too flashy, like white's too flashy for me. I just like the highlights to bloom a little bit. So I'm gonna just go around one, 120 or so. And I think that that looks good. So if we play through, we got our really dope transition already created. We got the glitch with the flash in it. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit. If we want to duplicate this throughout the series of clips that we already got in the sequence, it's really easy and simple to do. On Mac, if you hold down the Alt key, click on this and just drag it, it'll take it to the next place and duplicate it like that. And since we got that marker created, it's really simple and it snaps to where two clips meet. So it's really just as simple as that. Drag and drop on that copy. And if we play this through, you guys can see we got a really dope glitch transition effect that we created that goes throughout our entire sequence with no problem at all. Now, really quick before I show you guys how to save this into a preset, I want to give a shout out to the sponsors of this episode, the people over at Squarespace. Now, Squarespace is a really, really, really easy place to be to create a website. In this day and age, I think it's really important to have a website as a creative. You need a place where you can display your work and also have people be able to inquire about that work. Now, Squarespace has designer templates that are really simple and easy to use, and they also have 24-7 customer support. So that in itself makes it really easy to create these websites that they have. Now, if you guys are interested in taking your creativity, business, and entrepreneurship to the next level with the website, make sure you guys head over to squarespace.com right now and start your free trial. You can also head over to squarespace.com forward slash YC Imaging for 10% off your first purchase. Link will be down in the description. Now really quick, let me show you guys how you can save this into a preset so you can just drag and drop next time you wanna use it. So let's just click these arrows to make these effects a little bit smaller. This is gonna help us click on one of these adjustment layers and we're gonna start by selecting all of the effects that we've added to that adjustment layer. So I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna hold down the command key so I can choose them both. And I'm gonna right click and go to save preset. And you can name this whatever you want. Let's do, I'm just gonna do glitch tutorial. And I'm gonna keep mine type on scale and just hit okay. And it's really just as simple as that. Now when you navigate over into your effects, uh, panel, you'll see presets at the top and you'll see the transition effect that you created. So for instance, if we wanted to drag and drop this onto uh, something in the future, we can just drag in an adjustment layer. Like I said, it doesn't matter how long or small it is at this point, you can make it as long or uh, small as you want. Just drag on the glitch tutorial drag and drop and it's really as simple as that. So now you have a preset of transition that you guys can use in the future. I just recently released a transition pack with a lot of glitch distortion transitions within it for W Premiere Pro CC 2019. If you guys are interested, I'll leave a link down to that in the description if you guys wanna check that out. Really dope, simple, easy to use, and they don't cost that much in my personal opinion. So yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and it helped you at all, please drop this a like. Also drop a comment down below letting me know if it helped you or not. If you have any additional questions about this tutorial, make sure to drop those down below. I'll get back to those as soon as possible. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop it a like as well. I'm gonna check out a lot on my next video, man. Peace.